Hi, welcome back. I'm Jeff Bailey, and in a previous video, I shared with you some very effective passive and active shapes that you could do to remedy arthritis in your fingers. And I promise you that I'd share a video with you about shapes you can do for your thumbs. So the key to the Avita practice is to address the joints both actively and passively. See, I said joints, not muscles. We use the muscles passively or actively to get to the joints because the problem is in the bones and joints. That's where the arthritis is. That's where the surgeons go. That's where the replacements go. And we have the innate healing physiology to clean that up. So let's do it. The first thing that we'll do to address the arthritis in the thumb is is that usually occurs in the base of the thumb. There's this, the, the third joint of the thumb is way down here in the base, and that's usually where people get the arthritis. What causes the arthritis? Well, it's usually some type of overuse or repetitive use. It's the same thing going back and forth. So if you knit, or if you know maybe you're a surgeon, or you do the same thing over and over and over, there tends to be an overuse in that part of the joint but then there's this other huge range of motion that is being underused. And so we want to use it all. That's part of what makes it so healing is that we want to approach all the different qualities of the joint. So for the thumb, we're going to do a simple, simple in theory movement of bringing the thumb toward the base of the pinky finger. It's the movement of, of expressing the number four. And then we sustain it. My cues are always directional in nature. We're never trying to accomplish or advance a shape. So I say, bring your thumb toward the base of the pinky finger. And then wherever it is along the way, you may feel the arthritis, you may feel the restriction, you may feel the limitation in one or more joints in the thumb, and then you sustain it. How long? One and a half to two minutes, or until your intuition says it's time to release or diminish pressure. Now, we welcome all the feedback. I feel a little bit of sensation in the second joint right here. But I've had the sensation, uh, a little arthritic sensation, deeper down in the thumb base. Okay. Now, the whole time, we're trying to extend the four fingers. Extension is the term we use when we move body parts away from one another. So my thumb is flexing toward another body part. My fingers are extending away from the body part. And then we sustain, we hold. You can even close your eyes. This is the meditation part of the practice where you join and welcome the sensation that comes with the feedback. Fingers extending, thumb coming in. Managing the shape so that the sensation and the time and the pressure are sustainable. Now, even for me, this has been a while in the shape and I can feel my thumb starting to spasm a little bit, my fingers kind of reacting to wanting to be straight. Is it problematic? Is it damaging? Is it harmful? No. It would be if I was forceful, but I'm not being forceful. This is called reorganization. Everything is reorganizing. This is this, these are the symptoms of reorganization. And then we release. Okay, for a moment, let's extend the thumb as well. You know this shape from the previous video on fingers. Active extension of all five digits. We're going to take the same exact shape, but we're going to make it passive. I use my left hand to bring the thumb in this direction passively. And I'm going to let the fingers be uh, fairly relaxed. Okay, I'm just not going to include the fingers. I'm going to squeeze the thumb in the direction. You may notice how you can move the thumb a little bit further 
into the shape because it's passive. Sometimes that's true. Sometimes it's not true. Depends on your situation. Now, what do you feel? Do you feel the arthritis deeper down into the joint if that's a problematic area for you? Squeeze, sometimes just changing the position of the hand a little bit, curling the wrist some, maybe extending the wrist. Here is the precious golden secret to healing your bones and joints. You have to use the pain as a messenger. We want to get closer to the problem and the pain will lead us there. Do we go plowing into it? You know, like a bowl in a china closet? No, we don't. This is the meditation. This is the, 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 this is the part of the practice that, that makes it so unique is we want to find peace and healing sensation along the way. Okay, so we're, we're holding the shape, putting the pressure and the compressive forces into the bones and joints passively. Again, one and a half to two minutes. Is your shape going to look like mine? Is it going to be fully expressed like this? If you have arthritis, probably not. It might just be out here somewhere where you feel the pressure and the unique arthritic sensation in the thumb base. Be very kind in your practice. Be with it, not against it. Really, we're not even trying to fix it, which may sound paradoxical. What we want is healing. Healing comes to us and then through us. All right, gently release. Let's go into the full extension again. Sometimes fully extending the thumb like this will put some pressure and sensation into the arthritic area. Welcome it. All right, and again, we would hold one and a half to two minutes. Now, when are you going to practice this? You might be motivated to practice this daily, especially if you have arthritis. Now, here's the thing. You just lit up and stimulated the healing physiology in your bones and joints. It's going to work for you the rest of the day. So now, just get on with your day. And maybe tomorrow you set a little time aside to do the same simple sequence. Do it for both hands. Whether you have arthritis in one or both hands, do it the same. It'll be curative in the one that has the arthritis, and it will be preventative in the ones that don't, in the joints and the hands and the thumbs and fingers that don't have it, okay? So we, we just want to be proactive. It's a very, very simple practice. It's worked, it's worked for me. It's worked for thousands of other Avita practitioners. The Vita is a way to target the bones and joints, which is where the problem is. With a little time, a little understanding, a little practice, just like me, you'll want to give your bones and joints the compression they crave. Thank you for joining me, and namaste.